Federal Executive Council has approved the National Policy on Fifth Generation Networks in Nigeria, 5G. The 5G policy aimed at catering for the country's digital economy was approved at the Council meeting on Wednesday following the presentation of the Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Issa Ali Ibrahim Pantami. In a statement signed by the Technical Assistant on Information Technology to the Minister, Femi Adelui, the implementation of the national policy is with immediate effects. According to reports, the national policy was developed over a period of two years due to the need for extensive stakeholders' engagement and the need to ensure adequate public awareness and sensitization. The multi-sectoral stakeholder engagement took into account the report of a three-month 5G trial that commenced on the 25th November 2019. The report critically reviewed and studied the health and security implications of deploying 5G in Nigeria. Leading international organizations such as the World Health Organization, WHO, and the International Telecommunications Union, ITU, an organ of the United Nations, and have confirmed that the development of 5G networks leave no adverse health effects and are safe. According to Expert 5G networks offer significant advantages over the current technologies. Some of its advantages include much lower latency, higher bandwidth, greater device density, longer battery life for nodes, and greater network flexibility. Some countries have already commenced the deployment of 5G. They include the United States, United Kingdom, Republic of Korea, South Africa, and Lesotho, among others. The National Frequency Management Council, chaired by Pantami, said it will soon release a spectrum of the Nigeria Communication Commission, NCC, for the mobile network operators, MNOs, that meet all the required conditions. Hmm. This is a controversial 5G or no 5G or whatever. Uh, the Nigerian government has approved it. Well, Nigeria is fully under the control of the new world order. Take it or leave it. Deputy to Pastor Chris Oyakilome speaking very brainwashed. So you have the understanding and easy praise to Satan. So 5G network technology is not satanic anymore. Painfully brainwashed Africans. I wonder, we don't want 5G. The one we have is okay for us 4g consume our data we need something that save our data if you don't want 5g you don't have to use it after all people are still using 3g even now please release twitter as well think about crypto too and its advantages to economy we have witnessed this one waiting for the final ones the 6g network which the antichrist will use in his short time on earth all these are the shadows of what has already taken steps to appear soon and we are seeing it hope the introduction will not lead to covid 19. Buhari, we do not need your 5g you got to stabilize the economy of your dear of our dear country nigeria well good news nigeria on the march to greatness against all us. <laughs> well, these are the people who said uh, education of Western, they don't like it. When there's no light to charge your phones, we need electricity. Well, the ones that will benefit the masses, they are not even interested. Social amenities are not there. Social amenities are not there. Well, so that terrorist pandemic see, see exists, I suspect a foul play as has bad intentions. Only criminals will not like 5G because it will be easier to track criminals and, uh, and they have not been able to use it to, to track uh, to track bandits in, in, in the region, Rondonda region, which is your own region. The NIN that they say link to your mobile, this new period, at the end of the day, they can't use it. Criminals, which criminals? They, they have the opportunity and they have not been able to get uh, in touch with all this uh, all these uh, bandits in the north and the Boko Haram and the likes of them. Why China and Co are off to 6G? We are here. Some of our clergymen are telling us it is satanic. Is the 
cause of coronavirus. Dear Google government, 5G is not the problem of this country because it is useless speculating and associating 5G with Antichrist. Antichrist will use every invention and technology when he is revealed. He will use all commercial and industrial systems, but it will not come until the church was removed from the earth. Hmm. The Christ embassy is inclusive. Roads are in bad state. Hunger in the land. Insecurity of the highest order. Poor electricity. Unemployment. Worst economy. Insecurity everywhere. And you are talking of 5G. And because uh, the man Grand Sami is the one in charge of that, and everybody is doing what needs to be done. Those who are who are in charge of the economy, what are they doing? Everybody is doing their own. Whether it's going to be detrimental or not. Of course, he's doing his own part as what he's been employed to do, irrespective of uh, what people think about him. But when we talk about economy, when we talk about uh, what is it called security, we have people who are in charge of those ones. The question is that we should, why are they not doing what they needed to do? We should hold them accountable and responsible for what they are supposed to be doing. That is just the way I see it. All these people shouting Antichrist, why don't you read? your bible and have a better understanding about the antichrist and stop waiting for someone to feed you with one thing he believes and you carry it around limiting yourself many people who don't understand that 5g is an advancement of ignorance my question is that what is done the difference between the 4g and 5g what's the difference between the 3g and 4g if everybody was comfortable with a 3g at the end of the day People now okay believe that and they again comfortable with the 5G with the 4G and that is why I asked the question what is not the difference because 1G started people didn't say anything the before the introduction of a 2G and people never said anything is it not the what's what really affects the 2G or 3G we also see be the same thing with 5G and some other people are using 6g already so everybody needs to look into all this like somebody said if you cannot use this then you use something else well if it is a of evil definitely it will not stand we need electricity not 5g thanks for mr president congratulations to all nigeria <laughs> is that what to me that is even misplaced priority if they are spending money or they are concentrating on that uh nigeria government not buhari nice one the prophecy must be fulfilled now today 5g is the covid whatever this is the news the federal government shared earlier on share on with the adamawa and taraba uh janjanots bapc or pdp in respective on the way to greatness hmm.